Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen news, looking at some mechanic information, 3.1 sales, and some movement on the Crytek versus Star Citizen case too. So ship sales with 3.1. There was some information basically given on Spectrum for all these points that I'm about to make. They said, generally speaking, when any new ship is implemented into the game, they'll bring it back to the pledge store for a limited amount of time at least. Ultimately, the decision will be made closer to the time, but history suggests that they will sell the 3.1 ships as they go flyable. They'll either be added permanently to the store or available for a limited time. That's the most likely thing to occur. Will G-forces apply in the cockpit seat only was a question also asked. Starting with 3.0, G-forces apply to any passenger. However, only the G-force effect we currently have is is the unconscious state. So you won't see your character losing his balance because of G-Force, but if enough G-Force is applied, they'll pass out. And they do plan to expand systems and add more effects in the future too. 100% oxygen in the atmosphere of Yella was a kind of question posed as well, question mark. And our suits currently show 100%. O2 as the atmospheric composition of yellow. Is this a typo or intentional? And was the question basically asked. And it's not a typo. Yellow is currently 0 0.01 atmospheres of pressure, 100% of which is oxygen. So the player currently needs 0 0.2 of oxygen to breathe safely. The personal life support system, the undersuit and the helmet and the gas tank and gas purifier tries to maintain a 0 0.25 of oxygen. With each breath, you'll take part of that oxygen and then it will place with carbon dioxide, but your next breath, the purifier cleans it up and the gas tank refills it. When the oxygen in the atmosphere is low, like on selling, your stamina regeneration drops and you suffocate slowly, depending on how tired you are. However, when the pressure of the atmosphere is low, you start bleeding out health. So uh, 0 0.15, then you'll take one damage per second, 0.1, you'll take two damage per second, 0 0.05, you'll take three damage per second, and zero, you'll take four damage per second. So basically in a vacuum, you will last 18 seconds. On Yella, if you take your helmet off, you'll take three damage per second, and you'll die in 24 seconds. But if you keep your helmet on, your gas tank can absorb the oxygen from the atmosphere and refill itself indefinitely. The dev talking about this also goes on to say that they haven't done a lot of research because they're just a programmer, but as they understand it, oxygen is only toxic at higher than normal partial pressures and it's definitely not highly flammable. And in 0.25 oxygen, it is close well, fairly close to what we're used to on Earth. So they're planning to implement side effects for breathing too much oxygen as well for too long, but they don't think they'll ever simulate breathing fully accurately because it's not worth it. As a suffix, they did put on that all of that information is subject to change, but it's nice to know what they're currently thinking. Crytek versus CIG slash RSI. For anyone interested in the Crytek versus Star Citizen case, there appears to be some new info. Crytek have put forward their discovery plans if the goes to a trial phase. So this is before the judge has made any form of ruling on any part of Crytek's points being dismissed. The document outlines plans to obtain information, among other things, on CIG slash RSI's interests in Squadron 42 and Star Citizen, marketing and promotion, revenue and profits, use of Crytek property, contract and communications, uh, company and management structure, communications with customers, as well as interactions with Crytek. We are unlikely to see much, if anything at all, about the items looked at unless they rely on them specifically in court and reference them. And we still don't know if any of the parts of Crydex claim will actually make it to court. But I will keep you updated. Links below to my previous videos for a deeper look at each stage of the lawsuit so far, as well as the, this recent filing. You can see the whole document there. Every month we have a giveaway for February. It's a 890 jump donated by our featured org, Sync Synchronizers. They're an org that plan to encompass all of the gameplay that Star Citizen has to offer. That said, they do oppose piracy, but seek members to add to their mature family of both casual and more hardcore players. Uh, there are no real other restrictions on membership other than that. I do also have an org spotlight video outlining exactly what Sync are all about, so please check that out if you're interested. There's also um, a link to their Discord, and they are playing Star Citizen now, so you can check them out in a lot more detail. I even fly with them. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning that 890 jump, however, is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, and then comment on any of my Star Citizen content during the month. It is the last day to get involved in this giveaway. I will post the winner up on my Discord and Reddit, uh, links below to that, as well as uh, put a reply to the winner and make sure that they do answer me or are some way informed that they have won. Do you have any questions?
questions about Star Citizen or Squadron 42's development, gameplay mechanics, or suggestions for videos, chuck them in the comments below. Get involved with my Discord as well, because you should. Woo! A special thank you to my Patreons for allowing me to create the amount of content I do. If you're interested in becoming one of those lovely chaps or chapettes, then please find the links to Patreon down below, as well as everything else we have talked about. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, as it really does help me, and I'll see you in the verse.